video is going to show you what you can do with the assignment tab on your Google Classroom. So as a teacher, you have the ability to create an assignment. Students, on the other hand, if I look over here and bump over to my student screen, I only have the ability to share basically an announcement with my class. So teachers can give this assignment. With this assignment, when I click that, the first thing I'm asked for is a title. And this one I'll call Semester 1 Writing. The description could be your instructions. Please describe how I'm using a five paragraph essay, your favorite summer activity. You can create a due date, let's say Friday. You can even add a time, Friday by midnight. I want to go to both of my classes, so I'm going to post this to my other class as well, and I can assign it. So a writing assignment is as simple as that. I can see I have one person in my course, because one person's not done. This will obviously reflect the number of students in your course, since I'm my other account is the only student in here. I only have that one person. I can see that they're not done. You also have this comment underneath the assignment. So students can use this space. What do you mean by summer activity? You know, actually, I'll write that as, as the student. Make sure it is a summer activity, not winter. And post, maybe additional directions can be put there. Whatever that comment you want it to be, it's kind of attached to this assignment. And uh, students will see that. So that goes to everyone in the class, and students can resp respond to that. So if I scroll over here and look at this as a student, I can see one new item is posted. OK, here's my assignment. I can see I have an assignment. It's due September 26. Over here on the left, remember when we talked about the stream, I can see stuff that's upcoming. I can see the teachers also left another comment. I can comment back. All right, and the teacher will get that. But now when I'm ready to access this assignment, I can click either open or the actual name of the assignment. All right, I'll click here. And I'm presented with two tabs, my assignment and assignment details. So uh, semester one writing is the name of the assignment. If I click assignment details, it's back to this kind of screen where I can see the name of the assignment, some instructions, any other comments associated with that, that assignment. When I go to my assignment, I'm ready to actually do my assignment. So in this case, there's nothing here. So it asked me to add an existing file or create a new one. Files you add or create can be viewed and commented on by your teacher. So I can go ahead and add a Google Drive file I already have, a website link, or upload maybe a Microsoft Word document or PDF. I can do one of those things. But primarily what's going to happen is you're going to create a new document to answer this question. So remember, it's a five paragraph essay. So I want this as a student. They're going to click Create Document. I need something created for me to begin my writing. And you're going to see what's going to happen is it creates a Google Doc called Semester One Writing, which is the name of the assignment, dash Ryan Kamari, so my name. In addition to uh, creating this document, it shares it with the teacher. So there's really no setting up naming correctly, no sharing, no nothing. Student starts the assignment, creates the document, and this teacher now has access. So I can see over here on the teacher end, right, if I open my assignment, I can see my students. In this case, it's only one. If I click on that student, I can, one, leave a comment. Hurry up. You have limited time left. Maybe they're approaching the due date. And I can post that. This commenting within the assignment is a student uh, by teacher conversation. So a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Not everyone sees this. So when you have your list of students, you can click on a student and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. But also, here's the beauty of Google Drive, right? So you can click the assignment underneath the student. And what I'm seeing here is the student's writing. Obviously, I, as a student, didn't start writing anything. But you can leave comments. You can. Um, go ahead and provide feedback to this to this teacher whatever you wanted to do um, just like what you're used to in Google Drive as far as you know uh, 
sharing comments and feedbacks within the thing, within the document, attaching different things. Let's see if I um, can open up over here. What I'm doing is uh, looking, see if I can open it up, but I'm pretty sure if I close this and open up this little window, has a different account, it's going to ask me to sign in. Yes, choose an account to use, so I'm going to have to choose this one. And it will let me, it's going to ask me to sign in, sign out of this one, which I'm not going to currently. But I, as a student, would complete my document. The teacher, just like when I open this, can open that document, comment, provide feedback at any point in time um, to that student. So at any point in time, I can access that student's paper and provide feedback within it. Once the student um, goes ahead and uh, finishes the document and turns in the paper, I'm going to be notified right here that that student is done and complete with the assignment. I can then provide the student with a grade and return the paper, return the assignment. And I can see that I've graded it, returned over here. I can see this as the student, right? I can see my grade. Maybe this assignment was worth 500 points, not really 100. I can just change that, click update, and it's out of 500. Maybe it's out of 78. Click here, update, and there you go. With the assignment, you can also download the grades which will download the name of the assignment as well as all the students and the grades um, for that that you've given them. So I want to explain too uh, a little bit different assignment. So if I click on assignment, um, term one questions, let's do this time. And this time I'm going to attach a Google Doc. And the Google Doc I'm attaching is right here. It's a document that contains three questions that I want them to answer. What I have here is options for that thing I attached. Do I want students to be able to view it only, edit it as a whole entire class, one document, or make a copy for every student? That's what I'm looking for. I want to make a copy of this document for every single student so that they can just answer the questions on the document and I'll have access to their answers. So again, I'm going to choose both of my courses. I'm going to assign this assignment. So term one questions. Was these questions on this document. I made a copy. I can see here's the assignment. If I go back, I can go back to my stream. Right. There it is, term one questions. I can open it. And before, when we had opened uh, the previous assignment, and I had to click create document to start my new document where I'd, I'd enter my writing for that summer activity. In this case, I'm going to see that document that the teacher um, provided, a copy made for me, name the assignment name, right, and with my name. So right away, I can see this document. I can click on that. I'm going to, this time, sign out. And I'm going to sign in with the, there. OK, sign out of that one. Now it's going to open up the document. Obviously, you wouldn't have to deal with this signing in and out because you're only working with one account, but I'm trying to bump between two here, student and teacher. So I clicked on that as the student, and I can see here is what the teacher gave me. And I, as a student, can, you know, maybe I want to type in red. Main idea, it was struggle against good and evil. You know, why were the characters always struggling with each other? You can have them answer this however they want. Not sure. I, I didn't predict it at all. I thought the dogs took over the world. All right, and if I'm done, all right, if I'm completely done, I can choose this button as a student to turn in my assignment. And this will notify the teacher 
that I'm completed and I'll go ahead and do turn in. As that's loading, I'm going to bump over here and you can see here is this term one questions. One person's not done. But as I turn this question in, we should see this being reflected as one being done over on the left side. You can see your assignment's been turned in over here. I'll refresh. Actually, I'm in as a student now, but because I had to sign out of the other account. But you can see as a student, when I see an assignment I've handed in, I'm done. But if I sign in as the teacher again of this account, I can then see I have one student done. I can click on that and see that Ryan's done. I can open their paper. I can see the, the work. I can comment on their work. All right. You know, I thought the dogs took over the world. What does that mean? I can leave a comment. There were dogs in this book. And leave a comment so that uh, student will then be able to see that comment when they go back to their paper. But okay, I'm ready. I, I looked at the paper. I'm good. Um, I can then say I'm going to give a 75 and I'm going to return that student's paper. Not bad. And that's that. So I can go back to assignment details, see again who is finished, who is not. I can go all the way back to my stream. I can see the different comments, the different assignments. So in the first instance, we created an assignment where uh, the students created their own document. Again, they can create their own presentation, spreadsheet, drawing. Um, up here, we created a document beforehand with questions, and then we um, had them just complete that document. You know, the great of thing about all of this is that these documents are created, named correctly, shared correctly. It's all accessible in one spot with grades and everything. Very, very easy to add assignments to one class or multiple classes.